Hello friends, Sam and Graham do TCGs yet again. It is that time. We did the pre-release kits, but now we've got booster cases. I have two cases so far of Twilight of the Republic for Star Wars Unlimited. So let's get started. We'll do our usual format. We'll do two boxes per. Since it's a six box case, I like splitting it up that way. With certain other games with four box cases, I'll just do the whole case, but yeah. let's keep things interesting, shall we? The box with all of its Clone Wars. Uh, the Clone Wars pictures, the Clone Wars symbology. We got Droidicas, we got acclimators we've got trade federation ships we've got clones asajj ventress anakin skywalker we just got everything here so let's see let's see if we open these boxes can we get everything in these boxes too i've seen some people claiming to have pulled two showcases in the same case Maybe we'll get that lucky. I have watched a lot of spoilers and obviously I've opened um, pre-release kits and played a couple pre-release games. So I know some of the cards, but there's a lot of stuff that I'm dropping my first pack on the floor. <clears throat> there's still quite a lot of stuff that I don't know what to expect yet. I know to expect Maul. Always expect Maul. As I start dumping. Y'all can't take me anywhere. I'm just going to blame it on still getting used to uh, the whole time change thing. That's what we're going to go with. We're going to roll with that. B2 Legionnaires, that's fun. Come on, there we go. Draw three cards. I remember that card. This guy's kind of fun. Knight of the Republic. When it's when it is attacked, create a clone trooper. That's kind of hot. Oh, I hadn't seen this guy yet. Clone dive trooper. That's kind of fun. All right. We got a Sanctioner Shuttle. We got Echo. Death by Droids. Isn't that right? Kalani and a Clone Cohort. Uncommon Foil. Acceptable first pack. Quite acceptable indeed. There's Count Dooku. Pike Palace. I like this Pelta Supply Frigate. I do rather like that. Holdout Blaster, less so. Daring Raid, deal two to a unit or base, always fun. And cheap, wow. All right, all right, all right. There's our first hyperspace common. That's a Senatorial Corvette. I need to get back in the habit of looking at the at my screen. Padme Abadala, reprocess. Mace Windu's lightsaber. Ooh, and a hyperfoil daughter of Dathomir. We'll take that. All right, how do we want to do that? Hyperfoil, sure. Hyperfoil daughter of Dathomir, I'm in. That Windu's lightsaber is pretty good too. Draw two cards if it's played on Mace Windu, I'm in. Access code. This card, I kind of like it. Heal three, create a battle droid token. That's fun. We got our tactical officer that's very similar to the the, the rebel, I think rebel captain. I forget what it's called, but I play it all the time. ATTE Vanguard. Wind defeated two clone troops. That's a beast. Captain Typho, sure. Lux, Sabine Wren. And a foil vanquish. Always love that. All right, what do we do, Sabine? When this unit is exhausted, she can't be attacked unless she gains Sentinel. That's fire. On attack, you may discard a card from your deck. If it doesn't share an aspect with your base, deal two damage. 
So that's another Spectre. Ooh, I don't need to sleep her. That's okay. Getting that Spectre support. Gonna have to look again at a... Ooh, okay. We'll come back to this. We're gonna have to look again at uh, building that Spectre deck. This card's fun. The, the thing, ignore aspect penalty on clone units you pay. That could be beefy. And then... When in play, each friendly clone unit gains when defeated, heal two damage from your base. I really like that for sealed for sure. I might fiddle with, ooh, regular hyperspace daughter. I might fiddle with it in, uh, like try and build a legit constructed deck out of it and see how that goes. Bow, cat, and crease. Oh, and our first rare foil will petition the Senate. You control three or more official units, draw three cards. Sure. But Bo Katan Kree's. While you control another Mandalorian unit, this gains Overwhelm and Saboteur. While you control another Trooper unit, this gets plus one attack. I'm digging this set, y'all. The Clone Wars isn't always my regular daughter. This isn't always my favorite era. But some of these cards, we're getting a lot of the stuff, too, that overlaps, I guess, with uh, Shakti. Fives, heck yeah. Ooh, and our first legendary is General Grievous. I'm in. Uh, where do we want the rare foil to go? We want the rare... Up there, rare foil here. Fives, hyperspace rare. That was a great pack. A rare foil petition the Senate. A hyperspace fives and general grievous. What did we do? Ignore the as aspect penalty on each lightsaber you play on this unit. If it has four or more lightsabers attached, defeat four enemy units. That's nasty. I also really like fives. If you play an event, put a clone unit from your discard pile on on the bottom of your deck if you do draw a card. That's kind of potent, if you ask me. It irked my kid when we were playing, so. Providence Destroyer, that's nice. Hyperspace Kashyyyk Defender. There is some Foresight. Tactical Droid Commander. So yeah, we're doing good so far. That Grievous is nice. Another Quinlan. Two in a row. B2s. For a second I thought it was a Destroyer Droid. A Hyperspace Kraken. Impropriety Among Thieves. Ooh, okay. And a Foil Invisible Hand. I'm not sure it actually deserves it, but that gets a sleeve. Because it's awesome. Wat Tambor, okay. If a friendly unit was defeated this phase, give a unit plus two plus two. Okay, so it's the same, just on attack. Sure, cool. We got all kinds of Beefy as heck, dudes, in this one. Hailfire Truck. Gosh, this pack was a monster of all expensive cards. Holy cow. Heavy. Jar Jar. All right. Hyperspace Padme. There's the Tranquility and a Foil Suppressor. What does Tranquility do? When played, you may return a Republic unit from your discard pile to your hand. On attack, each of the next three Republic cards you play costs one less. That's kind of hot. I'm a fan. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember whose ship, hyperspace. Quinlan Voss, funny. I don't remember whose ship the tranquility was. Hotshot viewing hyperspace, regular hotshot viewing right behind it, that is legitimately funny. Defense carrier, Kashyyyk defender, Asajj Ventress. Now there are two of them. Sorry, that's kind of a racist character, character from the thing, so I apologize. If you control exactly one unit, play a non-vehicle unit from your hand that shares a trait with the unit you control. It costs five less. That has potential. 
legendary number two pad we got us a hyperspace tapioca city super tank good grief rdd2 we got a kraken zillow beast the kid loves zillow beast gotta pull some more of those so that i can you know slide him a couple of them give him a bunch of bunch of the extra cards squadron of vultures relentless rocket droid disrupted blood sport soulless one okay that's cool customized for grievous what do we do you may exhaust a friendly droid or general grievous if you do this gets plus two for the attack sweet for the republic All right, so we are at the halfway point. Hey, hyperspace cannoli. Nameless Valor. Grun Haco. Jesse, sweet. Petition that Senate. We got the foil one earlier. Now we got the regular one too. And I'm throwing stuff in the wrong stacks, which y'all don't care about. But you also know that I know you don't care about it. And I mention it anyway. Is what it is. Maw resupply. One of our reprints this set. Create two battle droid tokens. That's just fun. Set up for a. Uh, I'm forgetting the name of the funk the the keyword again. Shadowed intentions. The one that lets you do the thing with the stuff. Exploit. I had a card with it right under my nose. Exploit lets you set up for a nice exploit. We like that. Ooh, Anakin's interceptor, Senator Shakti Gore. I remember this dude, but I don't remember his whole thing. But this is a this is a heck of a card. Good grief! Exploit three. Cost 1277, exploit three. It's a sentinel with ambush and overwhelm. So can cost as little as six for a 7-7 seven, seven sentinel with ambush and overwhelm. That's kind of ridiculous. Boom series. Compassionate Sonata. Or a sing. I forgot she was in here. Finn. Which does what? When this unit completes an attack, choose, in a un choose a unique unit for this phase. If damage would be dealt, prevent one. Sure. Decent enough effect. We got Gun Newt Ray. Confederate Courier. Sure. Another Pelta. Steadfast Senator. Battle Droid Legion. When defeated, create three Battle Droids. That's ridiculous. Providence. Hailfire Tank. Droid Facility. We got the rares again, and they're not all 25 this time. This is just straight up. This doesn't have a heroic thing. Like it. When you deploy a leader, create two Battle Droids. I mean, I guess you can still... It is effectively a heroic because you can only do it once. Because you can only deploy the leader once. Now, that could be interesting in Twin Suns, though. Hey, Chancellor Palpatine with the Darth Sidious on the back. So this one doesn't deploy. So you don't want to play this with the Droid Factory. So this side starts face up. Action tap. If a friendly hero unit was defeated this phase, draw a card. Heal two damage from your base, then flip. If you played a villain unit this phase, card this phase, create a clone trooper token, deal two damage to each enemy base, and flip. I don't know if that's actually good or not, but it's just a fun piece of design. That's going to be interesting to see if it's actually good. Admiral Trench, sure. Sly more. Hey, a hyperspace foil holdout blaster. 
We haven't gotten a whole lot of hyperspace foils. Usually we've seen a few more commons. Take control of an enemy token unit and ready it. At the start of the regroup phase, that token's unit's owner takes control of it. Okay, simple enough. So you just steal, steal a token for a minute and use it against them or wipe it out. Django. Heroes on both sides. Holy moly cannoli. Mr. Bones. Double red on attack. If you have no cards in your hand, you may deal three damage to a ground unit. Sure. Ooh. Hyperspace foil rare location. Each leader unit you control gets plus zero plus one. That's kind of spicy. We like that. Uh, it can go in a hyperspace stack. We'll just do it that way. Hyperspace rares get their stack. Ooh, hyperspace Palpatine. Insidious. That's hot. 41st Elite. Nameless Valor. Rune Heko. Gunship. Ooh, Morgan Elsbeth. 436. Restore one. So heal one from your base on attack. You may defeat another friendly unit if you do draw a card. Okay. Quinn. Daughter of Dithamir. Solus one. Synchronized. Ooh. Squadron of Vulture. Oh, Hyperspace Foil. Squadron of Vultures. We got Admiral Yolaren there. It's Restore One and Hero Units get plus zero, plus one. But man, we got a Hyperspace Legendary. Ayla Secura. Heck yeah. That's another really good pack. So hers is on attack. So it's coordinate. So you got to have at least three units on the bo board. She's a 5-6-5 five, five on attack. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to this unit. Uh, that, that's good. I like that ability a lot. Hyperspace Vanquish. That's the one thing I wish they would not do. Uh, kind of follow the, sorry to mention other games, that the flesh and blood are out. Don't do the special formats for reprints. Anakin's Interceptor Hyperspace. Good grief. A second, a regular Ayla Secura. Heck yeah. So if you did a hyperspace, I would say no hyperspace and no foils for reprints. I would like that. Previsla. That would be my preference. Plo Koon. Lots of Jedi. Lethal Crackdown. Count Dooku. What do we do? Exploit 2, Overwhelm. When played for each unit you exploited while playing this card, you may deal damage to an enemy unit equal to the power of the exploit. That has potential. Make him cheaper and potentially just dish out a ton of damage that they can't do anything about. That's spicy. It's an 866, but Anakin Skywalker... Could be as low as a 466 and dishing out a ton of punishment. Savage Oppress, 777. If you control fewer units, including this one, then an opponent, ready it when played. That's nice. Sort of a, a backdoor. <laughs> Same card, foil and non foil in defensive Camino. Sort of a backdoor. Uh, Ambush, but you don't have to an attack a unit with it. That's kind of neat. Padme Amidala. We got level 13, 13. Man, we got hyperspace for days in this one. Droid Commando. Magna Guard. Duchess. Clone Cohort. Ooh. On top of things. We got Shadow Collective Camp. When you deploy a leader, draw a card. Easy enough. So that's a essentially a one-time... Extra card draw. Well, that's box one. That was five legendaries. 
two of them, one of them Hyperspace, two of them Aayla Secura. We got a Grievous. We got a... Was that five Legendaries or was that four? Am I lying? No, I'm telling the truth. Yeah. Gore, Grievous... We're not, we're not mad at that. That was a good box. There's Sly Moore. Political Pressure. I like that card a lot. Anything that makes my opponent make a choice, especially that is such a cheap one-cost card, they either have to discard a random card from hand, which can get nasty, or let me have two Battle Droid tokens. That one made my kid angry, too. There was Plo Koon. I have the high ground. It's a meme. So I'm a, I'm a fan of that. Holy moly cannoli. Lair of Grievous. Headhunter squad. Manufactured. Lethal cracked it. Ooh. Hyperspace, Luminara, and Dooley. We're happy with that. Good grief. What a great pack again. We got Heavy in Hyperspace Foil and Pyrrhic Assault. For this phase, each friendly unit gains when defeated teal, deal two damage to an enemy unit. That's kind of that's kind of good. I'm not on a fan of that. Jungo. Savage Opress. Solus one, hyperspace, regular. bo and Rush Clovis. Foil. Rare. I don't think I've seen a regular Rush Clovis yet. On attack, if the defending player controls no ready resources, create a battle. Yauda! My name is Yauda. I'm a soldier. If a unit left play this phase, draw a card, then put a card from your hand on top or bottom of deck. Deploys at seven. Four, nine. Restore to. When deployed, you may discard a card from deck. If you do, defeat an enemy non-leader unit that costs the same or less than the discarded card. That's nasty. Like Yoda. She's on top of things. Cad Bane, Foil Shot P as well, but Cad Bane Legendary. A 777. Seven, seven. What do we got? When played, this unit captures up to three enemy non leader units with a total of eight or less remaining HP. On attack, the defending player may rescue a card they own guarded by this unit. If they do, draw two cards. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. So that goes right along with what I was talking about with the uh, the either discard a card or let me draw two. We got Prey Vizsla again. That's nasty. Back to it, Spider Droid. I see a Hyperfoil back there. Clone Cohort. Squid Support. All right, we got another Pow City and a Hyperfoil. Freelance Assassin. I guess the other pal city I had, that may have been the, the fancy one I got. In any case, hey, rare locations. We like those. Padme. We got another hyperspace card. It is some old access codes. Heavy. Zero. Hyperspace Mr. Bones. All right, so we will execute order 66, which is not a card I love. We got another hyperspace foil. Strategic acumen and mr bounds i feel like i'm gonna sleeve hyperspace everything everything hyperspace what everything hyperspace rare or foil how's that we'll do it that way y'all care i know this is important stuff to y'all yeah power city hyperfoil i know y'all care about this so that's why I'm making sure you know. Because if you know, you know. Anakin. Oh, 
Oh, see, so back. Anakin. Equalize. So we've gotten what? Two legendaries already. This box. We're at about the halfway point, so that makes sense. Knight of the Republic. Jar Jar Binks. Sand Hill. Anakin's Interceptor Foil. Sand Hill. So he costs six base for three seven, but exploit three, so he can be free. For each friendly unit that was defeated this phase, phase, ready a friendly resource. So he can actually, like he's killing your dudes to do it, but he can actually gain you resources. That's fascinating. I like that. Hyper Maul. Asajj Ventress, Artie Deco, Kraken, Hoyang, and a Merciless Contest. Hu Yang's a fun character. I enjoy him. Captain Rex. There's another Pelta. Saw Cabrera. Raid 2 on attack. If your base has 15 or more damage on it, deal 1 to each enemy ground unit. Ooh, okay. And a rare foil. Shadow Collective Camp. Rare foil base. We'll take it every time. Every time. Even though if I still have Jetta Cities, I can't get rid of. But that's that's not the point. Trade Federation Shuttle. Runako. Order 66 and a Senator. All right. Halfway point of this box. What else are we going to get? Dooku. Not Dookie. Dooku. Savage Press. On top of things. Wing Leader. General's Blade. Ooh, and a legend. There's our first legendary foil. But we got General's Blade, which is a card that I rather like. But we got Kiati Mandai. 557 five, coordinate. When an opponent plays their second card each phase, you may draw two cards. That does not stink. All right, Kiati Monday. I see you. So we got a foil legendary, so up to three total legendaries. And Kiati Monday's big old cone head is a welcome sight for sure. Hello there. What do you do? Interplay this phase gets minus four, minus four. Cool. Jesse, tactical. Caught in them crossfire. That parliamentarian looks extremely aggrieved. Ooh, hyperspace now, let's see. Spicy. Sunday. There is Cody, Senator, Hyperspace Savage Press. Nice. Admiral Yolan. Hello there. Asajj Ventures, sure. This, this is going all right. I'm, I'm digging what I'm seeing here. We're going to have to play with more of this stuff. Unlimited power! A little back escort. I pulled one of these uh, in one of my pre release boxes. Did not even play with it. Didn't play red. Definitely didn't play double red. Nuke Reagan. Captain Typho. Caught in that crossfire and then Republic Arc 170. What was the other one? Reconditioned Arc 170 or something? Not Republic, I know that. Hailfire. Padme, reprocess, death by droids, and irregular fives. And a squadron of vultures. I like fives. That's a card I like. Anakin. Tapioca City. 
self-destruct private and we got Kalani and some liberator some liberator there are three on there though is it is it liberator or liberators it seems like tours but you know i'm not in charge there's a wolf pack escort trench twice the product unmask that conspiracy and a droid bummer when played if you control another separatist unit deal two damage to a base that doesn't suck hey duku War time. Aether Sprite. S Steel Guerrera. Alright, we're down to like three packs. One more legendary? That sounds fun. Hey, ooh, we got a hyperspace place. Subjugating Starfighter. We're just rocking along here. Bold Resistance, Prisoner of War, Synchronized Strike. Equalize and I hyperspace foil Republic Tactical Officer. I'm in. The last pack's got Yoda on it. That feels promising. Hey, Mace Windu, sure. Pay one tap, deal one damage to a damage enemy unit, then it has five or more damage on it. Deal one more. That's neat. Deal two damage to each damage enemy unit when deployed. That doesn't suck. I like Mace Windu. It has been determined. Orsing, Plokune, Unnatural Life, and let's have let's have some squad support, shall we? Squad support. Last pack. Maul. Barris Offie, sure. And a tactical droid commander. Okay. This didn't stink for our first two boxes. All right, so we got, we got nine total legendaries. Five in the first, two in the, or four in the second. We got Ayla Secura, Gore, Grievous. Two of them, Pyrrhic Assault, Cad Bane, Unlimited Power. No duplicates there, that's fun. We did get Kiati Monday in regular legendary foil and a hyperspace Ayla Secura. We got all kinds of good hyperspace rares too, though, including a foil Pow City. Fives is Palpatine, Mr. Bones, Luminara. Always been a fan of Luminara. Nala C, who I put in the wrong part. She's a hyperspace rare as well. Clovis, Invisible Hand. That's fun. So, yeah, not a bad first two boxes. I'm digging what this set is doing a lot of the like incidentally exploiting the exploit mechanic um really playing with the new stuff for the set with the specific tokens uh i noticed there's not a lot of like permanent plus one plus one for tokens and stuff like that there's not a lot of um well, none of that and no shields that I have noticed, which is interesting. So kind of changing up the game mechanics that this set is using. I am a fan of that. That is pretty neat. Um, so with all of that in mind, I'm going to wrap this up. But thanks for checking this out. I was excited with this first box. Getting those Ala Securas in particular is pretty cool. Uh, Grievous is always nice. Um... We got we 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 got a lot more to uh, to go through. You know what I mean? It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. So what do you say? I move on here and join me for the next one. I really appreciate your time. I hope it was worth it. I hope it was a good time, and uh, I'll catch y'all later. Have a good one. Bye, y'all.